Hi, this is Palessa from Weave Good Hair. So, I have just wet down my hair um, and I'm about to apply my natural shampoo, the recipe uh, that I was given by V Russell 28. Thanks again. Um, so, I've just wet down this is my natural hair, no weave in here at all. And this is my shampoo that I'm about to apply. Homemade. It contains roughly a quarter cup of Brunner Brothers Organic Castile Soap. Mine is not Brenner Brothers, it's just a normal uh, organic Castile soap. A quarter cup of organic aloe vera gel. A tablespoon of pure veg vegetable glycerin, although I use a bit more. Um, and a quarter tablespoon of organic avocado oil. Again, I use a bit more. <laughs> I also have some peppermint oil, which is supposed to stimulate the scalp and promote hair growth. So... My number one concern with using all of these natural um, products is, is it really going to clean my hair? Is it really going to, you know, foam up and give me a good wash? So we'll see. I'm going to give it a go now. It's got a nice consistency. feels similar to normal shampoos that you buy in the shop. feels nice and this is really foaming up which is quite surprising because a lot of natural products if you say buy natural products on the internet or from you know natural remedy shops and it's a cleanser it doesn't actually foam up like this but this is giving me some real good suds to really get in there it feels really really nice and it smells lovely as well because of my peppermint so it's a really nice consistency I'm really really feeling this This is all a hundred percent natural. Well, my verdict is 10 out of 10. I really, really like this. And this could actually really um, take me away from buying all of those store-bought shampoos, all of those branded shampoos, because this is really, really nice. I just really love the consistency and it feels good. It smells good. And I just have the peace of mind in knowing um, that the ingredients are all 100% natural. So there are no... So, um, there's no sodium lauryl sulfate in this, no parabens. It's all good, healthy stuff for my hair to keep it nourished, well moisturized, so I don't have to worry. I like a lot. I definitely like a lot. I think you guys should definitely, definitely try this. I'm going to um, give you the recipe as well in the box, so you can look out for that and try it yourselves and let me know what you think. I'm really loving this. I'm going to rinse this out now and then apply a another another coat because I like to wash my hair twice. And then we'll move on to the avocado conditioner. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love this shampoo. Look at how much it's lathering up. Look at that. Who would have thought that you could achieve this making your own natural homemade shampoo. Who would have thought it? I am so totally convinced. And the peppermint feels really cool on my scalp as well. It's just really refreshing. 
and it doesn't tingle it doesn't hurt or anything like that it just feels just feels good it feels so good this is i can't believe that i made this i feel so proud <laughs> i feel so proud this is lovely i have put the whole of the formula that I use for this moisturizing shampoo. Again, I have organic Castile soap, organic aloe vera gel, uh, some pure vegetable glycerin, avocado oil, and peppermint um, essential oil. Mix them up. Didn't take two minutes. And this is what I have, my own homemade natural shampoo without any nasty chemicals. I'm amazed. I love it. This is definitely, definitely, definitely one for you guys to try. Definitely. Give it a go. Post out some videos. Let me see how you like it. Really loving this. And if you need any advice on where to get the ingredients from, then just hit me up. They weren't expensive at all. Just standard prices. Ooh, loving it, loving it. Okay, so I have just rinsed out um, the shampoo that I made and my head just feels so fresh. Um, and I'm sure it's the peppermint, the peppermint essential oil that I added into the shampoo. Feels really, really good. This is me, guys. This is me natural. <laughs> right, so now the part that I am half looking forward to, half dreading, because I hope I'm going to be able to wash it out. My avocado and coconut uh, milk. Avocado and coconut milk, that's all it is. Mashed up and mixed together. And this is supposed to give me a really good nourishing conditioner. So here we go. I'm just going to plunge in. Ooh. It, this is cold on my head. I did actually put it in the fridge for a little bit. So it feels cold. Other than that, it actually feels, the consistency is very similar to normal conditioners. Still smells gorgeous. Doesn't appear to have a lot of spread though. When I say that, I mean it feels like I'm just putting it on the front and it's not seeping into the rest of my hair. So I guess I'll have to make sure that I really get an even distribution of this because it feels like it's just staying in one place. Other than that, it feels okay. feels all right it feels a bit strange because the smell is so foody but um <laughs> it feels a bit a bit strange using this on my hair but it also feels good so i think i've got quite a good distribution in here now Get it all, get it all in there. Don't want to waste anything. Hmm, OK. 
Okay. I mean, it doesn't feel silky. Like some conditioners feel really, really silky. It doesn't feel like that. It's almost slightly creamy. But then you can feel, I guess, a water base to it. I don't know. You guys really need to try this and let me know what you think as well. So I'm just taking my white tooth comb. And I just want to comb it through my hair. Comb it through so that and detangle my hair. Usually when you apply normal conditioner to tough hair or tangled up hair and you put your comb through it, the comb goes through really, really easily. This feels not difficult, but it just isn't going through as easy. I guess it doesn't have as much slide that a normal conditioner gives you. But I'm just combing gently to detangle anyway. Well, I feel like my hair is really getting some good TLC today. Bit messy. <laughs> See, it's going all over my face. But it'll be worth it. Okay, so I'm going to go away and make sure that I comb through my hair really, really well until it's all detangled. Um, and then it says that I should wrap my hair with a plastic cap and leave on for a few minutes. That's what I'm going to do and I'm going to rinse it off. And in my next video, I will just give you guys an idea of uh, how I rate the conditioner. On the whole though, so far, very, very good. I do like it. I love the feeling of knowing that everything that I'm putting on my hair is 100% um, natural, not harmful at all. So I love that feeling. And um, I'm sure the results are going to be fantastic. All right, guys, I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.